Hello, my name is Sochil Dixon. I'll be sharing I Hear You, God, in today's encouragement from our daily bread. Baby Graham fussed and wiggled as his mother held him in her lap while the doctors inserted his first hearing aid. Moments after the doctor turned on the device, Graham stopped crying. His eyes widened. He grinned. He could hear his mother's voice comforting him, encouraging him, and calling his name. Baby Graham heard his mother speaking, but he needed help learning how to recognize her voice and understand the meaning of her words. Jesus invites people into a similar learning process. Once we accept Christ as our Savior, we become the sheep He knows intimately and guides personally. We can grow to trust and obey Him as we practice hearing and heeding His voice. In the Old Testament, God spoke through the prophets. In the New Testament, Jesus, God in the flesh, spoke directly to the people. Today, believers in Jesus have access to the power of the Holy Spirit who helps us understand and obey God's words, which he inspired and preserved in the Bible. We can communicate directly with Jesus through our prayers as he speaks to us through scripture and through his people. As we come to recognize God's voice, which is always in alignment with his words in the Bible, we can cry out with grateful praise. I hear you, God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 10, verses 1 to 11 and verse 16. Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them. And his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And now, verse 16. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Let's pray. Jesus, thanks for hearing us and speaking to us through your word, your spirit and your people. Please help us hear you clearly and follow you faithfully. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.